Hi everyone. My name is Dr. Tarang Bora. I'm a pediatric neurosurgeon at Apollo Hospital Jubilee Hill. Uh, today we are going to talk about a topic I like a lot. It's pediatric spinal cord tumors. So what are spinal tumors? So spine is basically 33 circular bones with a central hollow canal which starts from the back of your neck and goes to your lower back. So these 33 bones uh, are responsible for the movement that you can achieve in your back. and right in the center of those 33 bones is a hollow canal like this and through the hollow canal passes a tissue of nerve called as the spinal cord so this tissue of nerve when it has some abnormal cells uh, which are rapidly multiplying it becomes a tumor so what are the types of spinal tumors that we see in especially in children so the types of spinal tumor depends on how do we classify them so they can be classified either as benign that is non cancerous or malignant that is cancerous and that can spread to the different parts of the body uh, also they can be classified depending on the location whether they are in the neck in the upper back or the lower back that is the cervical region the thoracic region or the lumbar spinal region they can also be classified as to where they are exactly in the spine as in they can be involving the bone of the spine or they can be involving the nervous tissue of the spine or they can be right in between the bone and the nervous tissue on the covering of the membrane that surrounds this nervous tissue so they are called as extradural intradural extramedullary and intramedullary spine tumors so what are the signs and symptoms of spine tumors in children so children are very different so they will not be able to express what they are going through the most likely signs and symptoms are three one is pain that is the child may have pain excessive pain in the back or in the leg or in the hand that pain is more during the night time second is that of weakness so either the child is having weakness while the child is walking the child is limping or the child is not able to do the same activity with the hand which the child was doing earlier third is loss of function of urine and motion child who's actually had some control over urine and motion now not having that control anymore is one of the signs and symptoms of a spinal cord tumor how do we diagnose a child with spinal cord tumor it's basically diagnosed by a pediatrician based on physical examination but once based on clinical examination and we are able to see few of the signs and symptoms we would advise you to go and, and get an mri scan mostly with a contrast so when we do an mri scan with contrast we are able to see the tumor tissue very beautifully separate from the normal spinal cord so how are the spinal cord tumors treated the spinal cord tumors are basically treated with surgery so there are two way two reasons why we want to do surgery in these patients one is to get a biopsy that is we want a sample of this tissue and we send this tissue to the lab when we send it to the lab we get the report from the pathologist who examines the tumor tissue under the microscope after 7 days telling us what type and what grade of tumor it is the second reason we want to do surgery is to make the nerve free unlike the rest of our body uh, where once we make a cut of that the those like skin skin if you make a cut it can heal again but the nervous tissue once damaged doesn't heal again so well so the tumor when it grows it starts to press on the normal nerves and when it starts on the press on the normal nerve the child will have pain weakness or loss of control in urine or motion when this nerve this pressure on the nerve is released during the surgery the child will start to improve sometimes uh, the amount of weakness that the child is there may not improve of the surgery if there has been a prolonged waiting time between the diagnosis and the surgery so what are the possible complications of surgery the possible complications of surgery is transient weakness uh, in, transient worsening in the weakness in the legs or in the hands as we will be removing the tumor very much close to the spinal cord so sometimes during the resection of this tumor some of the surrounding area of the spinal cord may get damaged which may cause increase in the weakness post operatively but it improves well over a course of time with active physiotherapy uh apart from this loss of control of urine motion wound related problems are common after spine surgery how do you grade this tumors this tumors are basically graded into four subtypes grade 1 2 3 and 4 grade 1 being the tumor which 
multiplies very 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 slowly and grade 4 is a tumor which is malignant and multiplying very very fast so if it is a grade 1 tumor uh, surgery itself is sufficient and child may not require any further treatment but if it's a grade 2 3 or 4 tumor child will require some kind of an adjuvant therapy as in a supportive therapy in form of chemotherapy or radiotherapy to control the growth of the regrowth of the tumor which has been removed from the spine what is the prognosis so luckily in children 90% of these tumors are benign okay they do not have uh, they do not end, uh, enter malignancy unless we do not treat them at an appropriate time only 10% of the tumors are cancerous so the prognosis in children with spinal cord tumors is generally good if treated appropriately so if you have your child who is having weakness in in his leg or having severe back pain or uh, unable to pass urine or motion please get your child evaluated by a pediatric neurosurgeon to rule out a spinal cord tumor